Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another tutorial. Today, we are going to be taking a look at ploughing enders. If you're finding other methods of getting vertical on the bow, such as the double pump, quite tricky, then the ploughing ender can be a good alternative method of getting your boat into a bow stall. The ploughing ender also mimics some of the body motions that are required for driving the bow down into a seam or hole to get enders or even start looping. So it's a great skill to learn from that perspective. To get started with the ploughing ender, all you need is the ability to paddle forwards. Give yourself enough room, probably at least 15 boat lengths, to be able to paddle forwards consistently and build up a decent amount of momentum. Once you have some momentum, a clue being that you will start to generate a little bit of a bow wave, what you want to do is unweight the bow ever so slightly so that it rises up and then drive the bow down using your heels and throwing your weight forwards so that it begins to plug underneath the surface of the water. Once this has happened, you want to keep on paddling. This is very important. If you let off at this point, your ploughing ender just will not work. You certainly won't get vertical you need to continue paddling forwards. Probably the strokes will become wider and it will feel slightly more awkward because you are in a slightly constrained forward sitting position with the surface of the water, ideally getting closer and closer to you as the boat rises to vertical. But you have to keep on paddling. I find that my final couple of strokes, as I feel the stern beginning to rise up and the bow beginning to sink, my final couple of strokes end up being almost reverse strokes to halt and arrest that momentum and stabilize me into a bow stall. And just like that, you will have got yourself vertical via a plowing ender. What could be simpler? Thank you so much for tuning in to this tutorial video. I hope you're finding it enjoyable and informative. If you are, then please do drop a like down below and perhaps comment any other ideas of tutorials that you would like to see in the near future. Thank you so much to those of you who have come along this journey, subscribing and commenting and generally helping push these videos to the YouTube algorithm along the way. I've really appreciated it. If you're new here and you are enjoying what you see then please do consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so that you know when I've got new videos coming out. Thank you so so much for watching. Let's get back to the tutorial. There are a couple of things to look out for however. First and foremost, consider the conditions on the day that you're going out. The ploughing ender is one of those moves where even a tiny bit of wind or some chop on the water will make it very, very difficult. Small waves can have a big impact on how easy it is to drive the bow of the boat under the water with that initial unweighting of the bow and then kicking the heels down. Secondly, consider what kind of buoyancy aid you're wearing. A big bulky buoyancy aid will genuinely make this move feel far harder than if you're wearing something that's slim and low profile. For me, that just means taking some of the things out of my buoyancy aid pocket, like my sling, which takes up a lot of space. A third thing to note with the ploughing ender is, even though you do want to throw your weight forwards and keep your weight forwards, keeping your shoulders over the top of your knees, I would suggest, you really don't want to be crunched too far forwards because this will make that continued forward paddling action really, really tricky and probably will result in the ploughing ender failing. It's about maintaining core tension in that slightly more compressed 
than fully upright position. It's certainly not about leaning yourself so far forwards that one, you can't paddle, and two, your weight is actually counteracting what you're desiring to do. So there you go, that is the ploughing ender, the gateway to bow stalls and bow pirouettes, which incidentally will be the subject of our next tutorial video. Look out for that one very, very soon. Thank you very much for watching.